Welcome back to Valheim. My name is Nilaus and we are going to the mountains. That is the objective for today and uh, I will help you with all the gear you need, the preparations you need, how to enter, how to set up for effective uh, foraging and uh, supply missions in the mountains, what you can expect to find the mountains in terms of monsters, how best to kill them, the loot you can find and also a bit about the crafting or what you can get. So this will be a comprehensive guide to how to do deal with mountains, I hope. So if, there, uh, if you like these kind of videos, be sure to hit the like button and uh, if there's anything I'm missing or any good ideas or bad ideas, then leave them in the comment section below. Also, as we get started, if this is uh, if you're not subscribed to the channel and want more content like this, then consider subscribing. It helps me out and uh, then I know that, I, that there's a need or desire for more content like this. Let's dive in. We are starting here in our beautiful building and we are going to do a lot of supplies here for... Uh, book setting up and uh, the first thing that we should go through is what gear do we want to expect well if we're going into mountains i am expecting that you have uh, you have the iron gear whatever you are your your preference in terms of what it is i like the mace i get the bow and you get some iron gear here you can probably do it with less but um, that's that's where i am i'm at we are not going to go for the boss in this case that is a separate episode uh, the, we have killed the bone mass and that is what I would say a prerequisite because you want the wishbone and you want to also equip the wishbone so that you can now see the silver mines underneath the ground in the mountains. You can always, once you found it, you can always switch back to the Meganyord to actually get more. Uh, the other thing that is super important and absolute must is a frost resistance mead. Let's have a look at that frost resistance mead over at our cooking station, our temporary or old cooking station. Let's just have a look at that. So you want to be, when you're starting to say, I'm probably going to go to the mountains soon-ish, then that is a good idea for you to go and make some frost resistance mead. And uh, this is, let's look at the recipe just so that we are on top of it here. It's really simple to, to make. So it needs some blood bags uh, from, from the, the swamp. So that's the only thing that's there. And we just put it in here, wait a couple of days, and we shouldn't have enough to go in with. How many you need? We can probably do with six because you can also craft some armor once you've been uh, for a single trip in there. But I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna make sure that I have enough so I don't have uh, any issues. That's really funny how that one and it'll just sink into the ground in uh, in after after I jump back in a bit. I would also recommend getting some me medium healing meat because that uh, they does hurt like hell. And um, as we go out there, you really should take up take the things you need. Uh, where do we have it? There. You should bring stuff with you for crafting a portal. That's one of the things you always need to uh, prepare for when you go out into a new area. Is make sure that you have stuff to bring a portal. Uh, because you want to make a portal nearby. I'm also going to bring some wood. Not that we really need it. We could probably find some wood somewhere. But hey, let's be uh, complete and then also take the 10 wood we need for the crafting bench. When you go out, make sure you do that. We're going to pop some food. I would recommend getting the best food you can get at this point. In my case, this is uh, black soup. Well, in your case as well. Uh, the black soup and the sausages for health. And then a turnip stew for stamina. And that gives you a pretty sizable hit, uh, hit point bar. And yeah, that should give us healthy. So now we need to look at the map. We have number of uh, mountains on the map where I can't see a damn thing. What I have prepared for us is I have found a big mountain down here and then I have set up a portal. This is what you're supposed to be doing. You, you find a location where we have a mountain. You go there and at the bottom of the mountain set up a, a portal that you call mountain. And so we are ready to jump into that one. And before we dive into the portal that we have uh, marked on the map, uh, you also need some arrows. And uh, when you've been clearing crypts for all your iron gear, you will be picking up a lot of iron arrows and a lot of poison arrows. My suggestion is to use the poison arrows. So I'm going to take a stack of poison arrows with me. And uh, the poison arrows are really good because the drakes are, I don't know if they're exactly susceptible to poison arrows, but they, uh, in fact, I found that iron arrows were just two shots and then left them with a sliver of health. So. Two poison arrows will take them out, and that's really nice. So as we go to our mountain setup, we'll just uh, take a look at what it, how it works. Here is a little setup, little cluster that should protect it from just roaming great dwarfs, but not much else. 
And that's the one you want to get here and set it up so that you can go to the mountains, drop things down. You might do a supply run. You might need some more food, some potions, uh, bring some uh, materials back through the portal. That's great. Uh, if you die, you can go through the portal and run out there. Excellent. But also at the end, when you're kind of done, you take all the silver you found, you drop it down the mountain, and then you only need to transport it to the nearest water where you can then build your ship and sail home. That's why I would recommend to build it here. If you build it on top, there is a chance that you will have some uh, ran random things spawning and that will kill you. I've had, there's an event there where you're being hunted by, I don't know, 20 plus wolves. That's really tough. If you die, then suddenly you have 20 wolves on top of your portal and they will destroy it. And it's all the bad time. Let's go into the mountains. You, you can see here there's a sheer cliff face. This is both an advantage and a disadvantage. It's obviously a disadvantage because it's super annoying to run up, but it's an advantage in the sense that once you're standing on top, you can just throw your things down and it will just nicely roll all the way down. Very convenient. The thing is when running on a sheer cliff face is that you can't walk on it, but you can run. It's pretty cool. And these stones use those for sort of uh, stamina breaks like this. So you just stand here, recover stamina. Instead of running all the way up, oh, you can see here there's the first critter. We will be killing all of the different monsters that are here. And uh, maybe with the exception of the Fenring, but definitely they are, they will, the wolves the drakes and the golems and i'll give you tips on how best to deal with those so we are now in the mountains and uh, i've already popped my frost resistance meat uh, in advance so that's kind of cheating is so we don't see the the debuff where you get but you will be taking damage all the time and you don't get any health regeneration so you're basically on a timer to uh, to complete it at this point in the mountains i think we would just want to cover everything and then what you want to run around with the wishbone we wish one up and then we just want to see if we trigger something there are two new resources here that you can find on the ground there's uh, obsidian and uh, that looks very much like stone like these are stone deposits but that's an obsidian deposit so that's a new type of stone and uh, yeah it's pretty good uh, it's, it's used for good arrows and probably some other things as well we'll find out and so we just got this. It's also a little bit heavy, but this can be teleported, so uh, that's not a problem. At this point, we are just going to be roaming the mountains, so I will be roaming until we see something interesting, and then uh, we'll I'll let you know. Oh, we're already seeing something interesting. Look at that! A little skeleton. These are mm, not difficult, but we also see the ping. Around there, you saw the ping. Oh, oh! We hear it. Oh, there we go. That's the first big monster. That is a tough one. All right. My recommendation is... My recommendation is to parry this. Better than I did there. Uh, that was uh, just to show you how not how it works when you're not parrying. That's a two-handed slam. Don't get hit by that. You can go up here and be really cheeky. Then you can... Okay, I'm not doing this very well. You can jump on its head if you are a bit clever about it. It's not super easy, but it's... Uh, you need some leverage here. No. Okay, we're going to do it the old-fashioned way of... Uh... Nope. Oh, that's uh, not good. We also get a bit of a uh, an attack. Okay, we're going to have to take... So as you can see, this is... Um... There, there they are. Okay, we're going to get a bit of uh, room here. That one. Okay, so let's deal with the drakes. They will turn towards you. And then they'll attack. So my recommendation is you charge up. And when they turn, take an easy shot. And they will have frost glands. Did I pick it? Yes, frost glands used for frost arrows. Probably not good to do frost arrows in here. Uh, let's do the other one. All right, let's chop this. As you can see, things can get pretty out of hand but i think that the trick here is very much one at a time are they fighting they are fighting that's weird i don't know if i can hit that i want to see if i can get on top of the golem that's kind of funny and uh, not super efficient oh wow that really just died Oh, all right, so they are fighting. All right, let's see if I can do this. Uh, 
Uh, that did not work. That did not work. Okay, screw it. You can jump on top of it. I can't do it. Okay, let's see what kind of attack it's coming in. Don't get hit by that one. Ah, oh, man, that can be so parried. That can be parried. You really want to get the parry in on this. There. That's the parry. Because it's really stunned a long time. Okay. So you can also block that. That's like... Come on. There we go. That was really clumsy. We'll, I'll show you it better another time. Parry the attacks... And what are we getting? We are getting eight crystals. Crystals are used for crystal thingies and also for <laughs> uh, for a crystal bad axe. Now you can see we have the freezing debuff and that's because we our first potion ran out. Right. Well, that was, uh, that was a lot of things at once. These chests in here have a chance to have onions, which is kind of the best loot in the entire sector. This one did not. Sad. Onion seeds is the best loot in uh, in the mountain biome, so that's what we really want. And it's kind of getting dark, and I do not want to be here in the dark. Maybe we kind of have to, because then I can give you a chance to show what a Fenring is doing. A Fenring is a really difficult wolf, a really dangerous one, super dangerous. So, there is that. Uh, we take all of the all of this we can, also because we are going to jump into a portal to go back and rest. For the next day. Uh, basically, I want to make sure that there's no fog of war here anywhere. So, we have to go down here and just get a, take a look at it. Looking for wolves. Looking for other things before it gets too dark. And aside from this, we'll be just roaming just a bit. Just to look. Okay, why? Right. The, the ping thing that was also here. You can see the ping. Let's uh, deal with that right now. Because that means there's silver nearby. So, you walk... And then you determine whether the intensity increased or not. I don't feel that it increased, so go a different direction. Okay. This is more intense, right? Up oh, there's one. Shooting it while it's moving is less easy, but once it comes back, super easy. Right? Get frost glands. Also need some of that. You can see over here we have a dragon egg. Uh, but we'll get to that in a second. I'm still desperately looking for... Oh, we also have something else. While we are looking, we should take all the obsidian. Because we're going to need that. Why not? And it's super heavy. This is a dragon egg. This is what we need for uh, for killing the final boss in this area. If you pick it up, it weighs 200 kilos. So that's going to be a whole lot of no thanks right now. Um, and it's going to be pain in the ass to log around where we need it. Oh, there's a text down there. Right, anyway, we have to figure out where that uh, ping thing is coming from. So let me just walk walk a bit around. This is much more intense, right? Huh? There. We'll start chopping and then we'll see if we find something. What we're looking for is a silver vein. As soon as we find the silver vein, we can just follow that vein and uh, start chopping it. Come on. Be correct. And there we go. Silver vein. We have silver. And this silver vein is probably going to be pretty large. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to sort of cut around the silver vein so you can see the shape of it. Because by knowing the shape of it, it'll, it's going to be so much easier to uh, to um, to get a sense of it when you find it to what you need to, to look for. On top of that, we're also in a really difficult situation when it comes to just... Being dangerous, that's a wolf. Oh, crap. Okay, get my weapons up. Alright, wolf. 
You can shoot it or you can block it. Boom. Attack. Just block it and attack. That's really simple. Block, attack, and then go back to blocking. However, parrying is really, really simple. When you hear the, the growl, then you hit the parry. And that, should, that timing should be good. We are back to uh, chopping and then I'll be back once we've chopped out this one so you can see the shape of it. All right, we are... We are here. <clears throat> Killing wolves left and right. All right, so we are, uh, we now uncover this one. Here you are. This is the shape that it has. It has always like this triangular shape. And that means when you find some part of it, you have to lead it in and find out where the sort of the triangles go out. I want to try something with this one. And I don't know if it works because uh, it could be really cool if it works. I don't know. Uh, if I want to see it's only now it should not be suspended by anything. Now it's actually hovering in free air. Yeah. I don't know if that's possible, but I think maybe it can be possible to sort of uh, once it is suspended in free air. Maybe we can... Oh, man, I didn't have any stamina. Maybe we can knock the whole thing down because it recognizes that it is unsupported once something breaks. That is the intention, at least. So let's go up here and... Uh, let's see if we can knock the whole thing down in one. <laughs> that was rewarding. I don't know if that I would say that's faster, but we have a lot of silver now. We have a lot, a lot of silver. Um... That was pretty rewarding. So if you make it like unsupported, then it's going to hover until you smash it. And that's a uh, really cool way of, of doing it. So what I'm going to do now is uh, we have uh, plenty of uh, stuff here to uh, go around. I, since I can't really jump when I'm when I am uh, encumbered, I'm not encumbered now, but I want to make sure that you're not encumbered. And let's, oh, hello. Okay, let's see what we can do. There we go, that's a parry. Right, so as soon as it growls, that's when you parry. Why did, Why is this not possible to just walk out of? I want to be able to walk out. Yes, okay. And now I need to get it back there. Whether you take it like one mine at a time or more than that is up to you. But what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to show you the way that I prefer to do this. And I, the first thing I want to do is get a bit of iron or a bit of wood so we can build some chests because I'm always worried about things despawning. So if things are in a chest, they probably don't despawn as much. How much wood do we have? We have 12. That's not enough. I'm going to need 20. Two more. 16. It's a bit dangerous to run around here with overburdened. And also, by the way, if you build stuff out here, it's probably going to get destroyed. The drakes really like destroying things out here. But I just still, still feel that if I build some things, and then it's still going to be more durable here. There we go. I can actually get one more because I'm good at that one. Alright, we're gonna get make two chests, one for wood and one for stone. Uh, sorry, one for silver and one for stone. And then we're gonna do some, uh, some supply runs. We grab all of this and put it in here so we know how much we need to get back with. Alright, so we now cleaned out the inventory here. Uh, we have some stone, not super necessary, but if we are going back anyway to unload some of our items and refresh our rested buff, which we'd like to do, then we might as well do that. But also we got 92 silver from this one. And uh, as we're here, we can then switch back to the wishbone. And see if we find new items. Nope, not yet. Okay. <laughs> Already. Already we do. So as you can kind of sense, there is a ton of things then in here. Uh, we got a... Let's see if we can find the next one. Just so that we are... Aware that it's there. Obsidian. Always take the obsidian. Well, I don't know if you always want to take the obsidian. But for now, I want to take all the obsidian. Interesting that I did not get a... It's not out here. No, they're just going down here just for the fog of war. Cleaning up. Go back. This one. 
Uh, just it's just about the drakes. Doesn't do anything. As far as I know, the only one that is actually doing anything is uh, the one with the boars. And I'm going to mark this as an egg location because if we or when we need to kill the boss, we do need to know all the egg location as well. Because it's going to be difficult. You have to carry this probably all the way up to the top of the mountain if this is even here. So the next thing we want to do is uh, we want to find out that other pling that was there. There we go. We managed to find the second silver vein not too far from the other one. You can see the other one is right there and it is nighttime and we are unrested and everything about this is pretty damn awful in terms of continuing. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just uh, take take my wins and uh, run away and uh, sleep, come back in the morning, uh, get to... Mm -hmm. Right, and uh, okay, let's just... Oh, crap. A wolf. Okay, wolves are more dangerous. Yeah. Just block, attack. I think that's the easiest way. Just block, attack. And here comes another one. We can also try the parry. That's a parry. And then it's dead on, on one shot. Oh, crap. More. Can I just kill that one, please? Get it, and then move, and you barely get hit. All right, as it repositions, you charge up your bow, and as it goes towards you, you knock it down. That is the perfect one. All right, that was actually a really uh, perfect place of, of how to do wolf, both wolves and uh, and a drake. So that's uh, pretty simple. Once you just take it nice and quiet, and you know exactly how each of them have to be done, then good. Uh, the golems, take everything else out first before the golem. Right, so I now... I need to uncover that one before we do a haul back and uh, then we but I do want to bring some of my stone back because well I spent the time chopping it so why not bring it back with the uh, with me and also oh um uh, also all of the city and uh, okay so something has destroyed this one it's not a big surprise but it happens I'll just build another one What I don't like is one, two, three, four. There we go. That was one. Uh, where are you? All right. Let me just haul this back and come back during the day. I think that was where we had the new AG, AG at Silver. So we now have the pleasure of a snowstorm. Hard to see anything. Uh, our chests were destroyed, and I have uh, taken the time to undermine the other one. Literally undermine. Here is the other one, the one we just uncovered. And it is now ready to be uh, tapped. I love this part. This is this is super fun. So let's see. It um, it actually is as because of this hill, then we can't really dig deeper over there. But it, it is it is not touching anywhere. So it should work. Come on. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. That is just so rewarding. Worth uh, worth the half hour of mining in the background. So what I what we're gonna do now is again. We're going to pick up everything and... Oh, that's 22 in one chunk. Uh, let's just pick up everything. I have the belt. You're freezing. Yeah, we're always freezing. One more. And then I can go down to these. Here. And in this case, or this time, I've also brought enough to make a portal. The reason why is because I think I just want to go home to get some renewed my sleep cycle and then uh, get stuff for... Um, wow, carrying too much already? Uh, yeah, renew the sleep cycle, uh, resting before we just take all of it home with us. And then once we have that, then I'm also going to bring stuff for... Uh, am I going to... I'm just kind of considering whether I should be bringing stuff for a ship at this point now nah, we'll, we'll go to the coast and then build the ship the reason why this is important or well, it's not important but i do this is because now it groups up into nice chunks so it's easy to pick up so it's only once i have to pick up every single one one at a time soon we'll be completely out of stamina and then we'll have to let go of all of the stuff we picked up but at least it'll be in nice big chunks like that chunk 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 pick up more that is all we have, and let's see if we can pick up the rest of it as well. 
there now we picked up everything we have we gotten from this one of course we can't get up from this little uh, location so that's uh it's so crazy how much weight there is in in, in this so this is boring i just need to bring it back here so let's uh, do that and then we can uh, recap when we have all of this stuff and then go back for the final run oh typical just as we are here we are getting attacked so let me just uh, bash these trolls before uh, we have the audacity to come into my location here damn you trolls Oh, maybe I should use this shield, though. Easy peasy. Alright, so we're back here. And I'm going to take out the portal. And uh, we have brought home all of the other stuff. Oops, yep. And as always, there will be a million things we, we need to take care of. There will be so many drakes. Uh, come on. There you are. Come on, drake. They always look like they're really, they're a lot further away than they are. Okay, there's another drake down here. I think it's because we're so close to that location. All right. Now I'm going to show you what my point here is. We can continue to clean out this area. We There are lots more things. I really wanted to find some onion seeds, but I haven't found any. Uh, I'm going to show you the last part, and that is how to get things home. That means from now on, I have to find the closest path to the ocean. That is... You're freezing. Lovely. That was a health potion. Damn it. Um, the closest path to the ocean. I think it's this way, but there's really clunky. I think this is a sharp ledge, so if I can go to that ledge, throw it down there... Then it's still easier to go to here, right? So that means due south. That way. Seems to be the easiest if I just run over and see if I can find like a ledge or something. Yep, yeah, there is a ledge over here. Then we can, if we can get over here, we can just throw things off the ledge. And it should be falling a bit down. Not much. Anyway, that should be good enough. That's what we, that's the option we have. At this point, I know that there are more obsidian here and there, but right now we're just focused on. Oh, hello, wolf. The easiest way is just to hold parry, let it attack once, and counter. Not even trying to parry. To parry, that's all right. So what I'm gonna do? This is the way I do it. I I go. Completely over overburdened, and then I start walking. Once I'm out of stamina, I throw things forward, and then wait for stamina to recover. Pick it up, rinse, repeat. I have some things over there. That's luckily drakes are not dangerous. We'll save in thirty seconds, and then I can't do anything. Then I go. Boop, boop. I'm probably gonna take that one out. Then wait for stamina to recover. And continue. And it's a blizzard. Of course it's a blizzard. World save. And this is super tedious. But I think it's still a lot faster than carrying... I think I can carry like 20 of those. Uh, and uh, that's just miserable. <laughs> miserable. There. We just pick that one up. And then once we are down here, hopefully we can find it by the time we are stuck. And then go. And hopefully they'll roll down the mountain an equal amount. That's the important part. So we get a bit of free rain down here. And let's keep an eye on and hope we haven't lost all of it. And then we're also down from the mountain. Oh, is that it? That's it. One, two, three. Four, five. I'm missing one. Well, that's the the tricky thing about this is you can easily lose one if you're an idiot. 
Uh, it hopefully just rolled a bit further. Hmm. Yeah, well, now we just need to go to the upper. What I'm going to do is I'm going... Oh, there it was. There it was. See? All good. One, two, three, four, five. Almost six. Yes, that's exactly what we had. Now just run, 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 run to the ocean. And once we're there, we will set up a portal. I'll, I'll do that. We'll see. I'll see you when we are at the, at the ocean. We have now reached the ocean. And this is perfect. Um, what I'm going to do here is I will need to chop one tree because we need to build a crafting bench to so build a crafting bench don't run in the water there we go that's the crafting bench well that's enough for the crafting bench so i may at this point i am simply going to make see i can't make this portal I can make a crafting bench and then I can make the portal that I am designating home. Since this is a completely... I always have the home to be available. What I need to do now is simply go back. I'll clear my inventory. Don't, no need for it. I'll go back and grab the stuff that I need for my... Uh, uh, to build the ship. The long ship. So, let's build the long ship. We now have all we need to craft a longship. So let's see if we can craft it in a place that does not sort of ruin everything. Uh, maybe I could stand on the stone and build it. Seems to be deep enough here. Yeah, that might be not a bad idea. Let's see how much it breaks when I build it there. Too far away from the... Uh, there. Oops. Eh. Slightly broken. So we are going to load the, war the, sh the ship. That's probably not a good idea. And I'll also take these out. Pick this up. Why are we not able to pick things up? There. Get it over here. Get it on the ship. Let's do that. And that was the last one. We can now... Um, Stop running around naked, because that's apparently the best way of uh, transporting silver, is naked. You maybe you didn't know, but that's apparently the case. And yeah, let's get all of these things back in their usual spots, so we are ready to go. And we can now sail back. Doesn't take much, aside from just a nice little uh, trip back. In this, my case, I need to sail down here. And up to that, uh, no, 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 where the hell am I? Where's my home? My home is up there. Oh my god, that's so far away. So I can also sail through that one. Whoops. Alright, I'm gonna sail home. I'll see you when we're back home. So now after way too much time has passed, we are <laughs> back here. And it is time to us to uh, start smelting some products. Let's see what we can do here as we smelt the first steel here or not steel silver no steel in this game just silver there we are smelting the first silver let's put it back here and uh, in the meantime we can get the first here and uh, let's wait for it to pop out once it pops out we will get some new recipes popping up and we can take a look at those that should be the first and best new thing here let's let's have a look what can we do we're going to use wolf pelts. We're going to use all the things. There we go. Let's pick it up. Silver. New recipes. Wolf armor chest. Wolf legs. Something. Silver thing. Silver crystal battle axe. Draugr fang. Cloak shield. Knife fang. Spear fang. Thing. Treasure chest and butcher table. Butcher table is for the cooking. That's really neat. All right. Let's lots of things. Let's have a look over on this side. This is where we should get new things. Ah, there we go. The wolf chest. This is starting at 20 and mine is currently 20. So I really like the fact that fully upgraded is the same as not upgraded at all. It needs chains, wolf pelt and 20 silver. This one needs a bit of few fangs and looks uh, pretty good. Silver arrows deal more damage. What a... Silver arrows... Oh, it also deals spirit. Ah, spirit. Is... And we have a crystal battle axe looking good. Crystals, ancient bark, silver... 
Drogafang is probably the one I want the most because it's a good bow. It deals additional poison, not a lot of poison. And it does piercing, but it requires guck, which is awful. What else can we do we need here? Oh, there's a Drake helmet. Two Drake trophies and then also some more silver. That's uh th we'll definitely need to build some of these. And I think that when we come back next time, okay, what kind of stars? Oh, they're way more fancy. That's good. Where's the purple one? Yeah, so we need a shield. It has block force. It has parry. It's excellent. Yeah, we uh, need to make a lot of these things. We can also trick it. Bang. That is a lot of interesting. Oh, it's silver sword. Mm, it's time to switch to a sword instead. Maybe so. There is actually one more thing that I want to show. And uh, that is to unlock a few more recipes that are related to silver. So that is a thing we're going to go and do as well. We are going to go in here, pick up a bit of cash. There we go, that's a bit of cash. And then we're gonna go to the trader just to see. I know I have a portal to the trader. Swamp North, trader. Items prevent you from teleporting, of course. We're gonna go to the trader and buy some Emir flesh. The world is made out of Emir's flesh. So that should also give us a chance to find a new item as well. We're going to go high there and then buy the... We're also going to buy the Thunderstone. We're not going to use it. Buy that. Frostner, an Iron Sledge. And a Thunderstone. Make the Obliterator. I don't know how many we need for to building the Frostner. But it also doesn't matter because we're not going to make it right now. But those are things that I want to make. While we are farming a silly amount more silver. That is definitely not something I want to put in... Uh, in a video like this but it's something that i'll be doing on live stream so if you are enjoying these videos do come on over to a twitch i'm live streaming it monday wednesday and friday generally and uh, then we will be uh, we'll be doing all of these things not just grinding but also testing and uh, yeah just pushing it forward so that i can make a nice video here blunt 35 plus frost so it deals a hell of a lot less damage By blunt. Mm. And that's five Emir flesh. Okay. Well, that's a freeze kind we have tons of. So that is definitely some of the things that we can do. And I'm looking forward to diving into getting all that. That was something we're going to be doing on live stream. And uh, then when we come back next time, it'll probably be for the motor fight. Uh, or for some more construction to keep, make this a bit nicer with a better forge and a better uh, wood cutting. Let me know what you'd like to see in the game as well. And uh, thank you for watching so far. If you like it, hit the like button. If you're new around here, consider subscribing. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, and as always, stay effective.